Hello! In this video we're going to talk about how to set up Asheron's call so as you can log in twice on the server and mule some stuff to another character without having to drop it in a bag and leave it on the world or ask one of your friends to come along and help you. The example I'm going to be showing you is with Reefco and uh, I'm going to show you how to get this sorted. First thing you need to do is this should launch on the Thwag launcher you should have this pop-up open which says using using this method for multicasting only requires one single install of Asheron's call you need to go down here and click on open preferences default location if you haven't changed that then you'll be able to find where that is very easy that button will just open this user preferences .ini. you find the net thing here as it says here and you make sure it says compute unique port this means you can have two copies of the application running they'll use diverse network ports on your computer you don't need to understand what that means basically um they're going to talk using a different signal you know that's the roughest way i can describe it it's not entirely true it just means when the packets leave the computer they're going to have a different label on them as opposed to diff as opposed to the ones coming from the other client so you can say that the signals will be uniquely labeled therefore the server will understand that they're from different clients okay you then save that i'm not going to save it because i haven't changed anything on mine now you're thinking, how do I launch two copies? Because if I go launch, it just launches. Well, that's the easy part. You click on Advanced View, and here we go. So you see, I've already got two set up here on Reefco: General Crow, Mule, and General Crow. And when I go, and if I tick both of them here, so to make these, you just go Add Users, and you can add your username and password here. You have to make a new account, of course. And what I can now do is I can. I can put items on or take items off my mule without any fear of um, losing them, dropping them in the world, or them vanishing, or me not being able to log in and not being able to get them. But you've got to be careful that you don't change the settings on your second account, because when you log off and log back in, whichever one logs off last saves the settings for that client. So if you if you degrade it to try and run them both at the same time, you're going to end up, the next time you log in, having to reset up your main client. So let's launch both of these and see what it looks like. That's literally all there is to it. It's quite cool, isn't it? And there's the other one launching. There you go. So I can log my mule in. I can log my main character in. All nice and fast, not too bothered. Remember, I only have an i5. I don't have an extremely powerful computer. And uh, if I at Lifestone on my main character, I can go and meet it with my other character here. And that you can pretty much see there both clients are active at the same time. And look, there's me appearing there. Oh that's not me, no, my I'm I'm this one here. With that glowing orb with the smoke coming off of it. And there I am. Now I can uh, have myself some stuff over to myself. If you've got two monitors, you could run them both at the same time. You can also do this, which is really cool. Look, if I turn this on, put Verindy Tank on, click on Follow Character, Navigate, then say, I think, all right, okay, I'll go over to my main character now. Let's go for a run. Look, watch what's happening. Are you coming or not? That's odd. Normally that works. Oh well. You'll have to have some tweaking. I'll do another video on how to get that to work. Oh no, there we go. Now it is working. I think it just takes a few seconds to realise what's going on. Yeah, and there you go. You can now run around. If you want to go hunting in the wild, if you're both over level 50, you can share experience points. I can show you what it looks like on the other screen as well. If I put auto run on this character, this one will just follow him. Pretty cool, huh? 
I think it's pretty cool because what I can do is I set my main character on something silly like heal and then have my mule character run around and kill stuff and it can level up and my main character will look after the patrols are in an, uh, a fellowship the main character look after the other one and make sure that he doesn't die or she doesn't die I think in this case yeah got to be careful when you're on uh, I think moving the controls like that might mess up the navigation let's just double check that no nope, still appears to be following perfectly fine pretty cool hey so that is how to multi-character on the same server using Thark Launcher. Um, you can set up the following thing. I mean, pretty much if you just put Verindi on and target another character and hit FC, it'll just work. The instructions on how to use Verindi Tank are all there on the Leaf Coal pages. Um, I'll put the link in the description. Um, I'm going to do a video on setting up Verindi Tank, but that's going to be a much longer one. This is a short 10 minute video. That one's likely to end up being nearer an hour because there are some subjects in there. I mean, for example, do you want to use VUMs? Do you want to use buffs? Um, what type of buffing do you want to use? Um, then we've got to talk about personalizing loot tables for the automatic looting. And is it worth playing the game with unattended macroing? I personally don't do it because I'm here to play this game to enjoy it. If I'm just sat watching a film the whole time while the character's playing itself, where's the pleasure for me? I did that for six months when I used to play the game and it really made me bored with the game. I know what I want from the game now. And I enjoy the challenge of using this character to kill much higher level mobs than me. I'm picking up massive loot. What I'm going to try and do is get myself in a group in Withered and see if I can level up a bit. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment and subscribe.